Okay. So ideally, my animal is already in lateral position or lateral recumbency. So I've got my animal whoop, in lateral. Okay, now I need to go to dorsal, so I need to go on my back. Um, so we're in lateral recumbency. Now we're going to low and re, um, go to the back. Generally with two people, it's much simpler um, because one person is going to be able to control the head. The other person will control the back end, and we're able to do this together, right? And so in this case, I don't have two people, so I am going to do it on my own. Um, you generally, again, you're going to use two people for dorsal recumbency because I'm probably doing x-rays or assistocentesis um, for, for this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, and I have this back leg secure. This is where that rest of my body comes in, right? So I'm going to use my body right now as support. So what I want to do is um, kind of flip. The goal is to have that abdomen exposed, right? So while I'm here, I'm going to flip around. Um, and I'm actually just kind of kind of roll that animal back, okay? So here I've got both of my legs are secure. I'm going to use my elbow near the neck and kind of push. As I push, I'm able to pull my animal here. Once I'm here, I'm going to make it a little bit more comfortable because I don't want to scissor the legs. I'm going to grasp this way, pull back, same thing here, and then pull back. And then with a smaller animal, I can successfully pull both legs back um, Four limbs go cranial, caudal limbs go, or hind limbs go caudally. If I have my cat, foomp, right? And then I can go ahead and kind of flip. Foomp. And then I'm going to adjust my hand here with my back legs as well. So boom, back can stay here. Somebody else might be able to assist. Otherwise, when I go, before I even go, I can bring up and I can actually flip with the legs, okay? Yeah, these are a little bit more difficult um, on your own, but absolutely practice, right? And this is why we do practice, because we can start to build up that muscle memory. Um, if I am holding with somebody, somebody's going to come on this side, and then I'm going to be on that other side. Um, when you use in the field, depending on what type of procedure we're doing, we might have a trough, and then that animal can rest in the trough, and then it's much simpler to just be able to hold, and one person can hold once the trough's there to secure the animal.